Watch on Future Tracker as we go throughout the morning and afternoon. The clouds give way to more sun. Temperatures then work their way into the 50s, 60s. We're going to be pushing 70 by this afternoon. I don't quite think we'll make it there in most spots, but close enough. For the evening and overnight hours, we're going to get back down into the 40s. It's going to be an easy morning drive on Monday. More clouds than sun, I expect. And as we go throughout the day, that trend continues ahead of the showers I'm tracking. Now, tomorrow, though, this is that push of warm air that you usually get before that front arrives and then temperatures kind of drop off. So tomorrow, 71 for your high. Getting into Monday night, that's when we start to see the scattered showers arrive late. They become more widespread and also a little bit more moderate to heavy as we head towards early morning Tuesday. So your drive, this is about 6 a.m. You could be seeing some scattered showers that could be a little heavier and even a rumble of thunder not rolled out. Going throughout later in the morning, those showers become more scattered, but they hang on off and on as we go throughout the afternoon. The second half of the day, not too bad. Here's the breakdown of your Sunday. As I said earlier, if you can get outside, between those, you know, football games, I'm sure you're sitting on the couch watching today. It's going to be beautiful outside. Get some fresh air before those temperatures start to drop as we get towards the middle of the week. 47 for your low tonight. It's not going to be as cold as last night or this morning for that matter. Here's a peek at the next seven days. You notice we do a 10 degree drop between Monday to Tuesday, only make our way to the 60s, 50s midweek, and then we kind of struggle to get that heat back as we head towards the weekend. Best rain chances, Monday night into Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday. All right.